Hello? Hello? Henry? Linda? Meg? Hello? In a wheelchair? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna split up and search for May. When we find her, we meet at the dock at the end of the pier. Then we get onto the boat together. Yeah, Got yeah. it? Yeah, I think so. We have no time. The boat's coming. If the captain sees gunfire, he'll turn back for sure. Okay. I'll search over here. You search over there. Whatever happens, we meet at the docks at the end of the pier. You take the pistol. It's dangerous out there. Right. Meet at the docks. Let's go find May. I'm gonna go without my pistol. No, it's just me and my bow. Well, I'm, I am pretty good at using the bow anyway, so I guess you're going the wrong way. Yeah, I know. I'm exploring. You know, exploring. Uh, I'm getting pretty good at using the bow, and there's not so much dust here, so that's great. Yeah, I just needed a little break. I don't know if you saw the transition. It was very subtle. I know. Um, just needed some water. You're going the wrong way. Okay. So that's the wrong way as well. Do you want me to go over here? Surely. That's not what you want. And that's the wrong way. I don't even know where we came in. So what do you want me to do? That's not anywhere. anything that I can climb on. Are you sure I can't go down this way? Nope. Huh. Maybe we can climb up. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, this this seems like a perfectly reasonable. Oh, I, okay. I guess we can just climb down here. So yeah, we only have a bow, but I guess that's fine. There is. Oh my God! Is that? It is another arrow. That's great. That should allow me to, um, hopefully. Hey, you're one of the guys who called the boat, right? Sure. Let's say yes. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get into the, into that dude, or to where he's at. What's that? Hey, you! <laughs> I did not appreciate that. Okay, so. Hostiles everywhere. I'm just gonna let him stay there for a bit. Hey. Uh oh. Okay, bad. Oh no. Oh, dang. I thought about uh, using my, my health stuff, but. Okay, so I guess anybody that I meet here just has to die. Has to die or have to die? I don't know. I did not appreciate that ambush there. Hey, buddy. Someone there? Yep. And these guys with guns. I guess I could take one of their guns. Can I take one of their guns? Come on. I want you out here. Oh. Arrow. Hey. Handgun. Excellent. I don't know if that dude has the... Um... Yeah, he has a gun. Okay. And now I have a gun. Please don't let me die. You tried to, well, you actually did kill me, but through the magical powers of retries, I have risen from the dead. So we got a gun. Hey. And three bullets now, I guess. And some arrows. Hey, who's 
Wait. Ah! Okay, that was a, a very long and exaggerated death sequence. Are you having a gun as well? I'm the one who did it. Whoa! Oh. Fuck! Ah! Uh, fuck! I missed. Okay, that wasn't very good. Well, I did want to uh, spend some of my retries, so that's why I died on purpose here. <laughs> this is terrible. I don't know why I tried to not... I mean, that dude didn't really look like he had a... Um, oh, I don't want you moaning, attracting attention. Hey, ow! Did you just waste a bullet on me? And then you died. That's sweet. Uh-oh. No, you won't. I know running out like that is really dangerous, but I wanted my shit, you know? Okay, we're gonna go to this way because we've been this way before. And I don't want to fail again. Ha! They can't they can't actually see me, I guess. Look at all the- Stop moaning, guys! Sounds terrible. Um, I'm looking for where that item was that we saw on the other side, but I guess that's not here. Hey, what up? Okay. That's two more. I guess there's some- <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, mate. Okay, I'm just gonna check and see if there's there's nothing in there. I think, I guess. So we still got a few guys over there to deal with. Oh, there's no. That was just light. Can't pick up light. Well, you can, I guess, with like a a solar array. Okay. Ow. Fuck. Well, that didn't quite work as well as I had hoped. I wasted my bullets. And uh, I'm missing an arrow. There it is. But I'm not going to restart this. I mean... What would be the point of that? I was about to say that restarting is a cheat or is cheating, but it is actually a part of the game. So, I mean, that's Henry's wheelchair. Oh, is it? So maybe he's, I don't know. I'm not done exploring. May will have to wait just a little bit. Someone there? Get down here, mate. I'll show you my new bow. He's dead. Who could have... I'll find you. Will you now? I see you. Did you burp? It sounded like a burp. I guess if I were to make camp somewhere, an amusement park would be the best place because then after a long day of scouring for food, you could just... Oh, there's something over there, I think. No. 
You could just uh, have a, a, a trip around the merry-go-round. Um, okay, they probably are not doing that, but that would be fun. The bumper cars or something like that. So... Nothing here, I guess. Nope. <clears throat> Whoop. I meant to do that. I meant to just jump off like a beast. Boxer TKO! Fortunately, it's unpowered. There's some music playing as well. So Henry might be up here. There's the light. Just gonna check and see. There's nothing else. So let's go here. Oh, hey, mate. Hey, we've been looking everywhere for you. I'm so glad you're okay. You came for me. Of course, sweetie. I wouldn't leave you here. Now come on. Let's go find your mother. Okay. Watch out. Flooding. Well, okay. I guess we'll just. Uh, I was about to say swim, Ready but to find your mother and leave this place. I sure am. Then hang on tight, and I'll take you to the boat. How am I? <clears throat> oh. How am I carrying my boat? Where am I pulling it out from? From my pocket? Okay, I guess we just continue on. I hope nobody else was down there. But uh, we will never know. So we need to find the... We need to get up there. Be quiet, me. There might be baddies around. Still have the business of finding our own wife and You're a miracle, you know that? When nothing else in this world works like it's supposed to, you, my friend, are a miracle. Where's Henry? Uh, I don't know what to say. Come on, we should go. The boat's coming. Right. It's a boat time. Get it? Boat. Are you just ready to ditch Henry like that? I mean there's a boat. Maybe my family's on the boat. I can't run, by the way. The destination is a settlement called Port Siena. Port Siena. How far is that? They said we'll be there in two days, so I guess it's not close. But we heard several messages mentioning it before. They have supplies there, and the air is much cleaner than here. That's what May needs. It must be Linda. While we were waiting for no. her, the boat nearly got hijacked by some guys with guns. Let's go. We'd all like to leave this place as far behind as possible. I'm not Linda. Until I found Julie and Mary. I left them once before. I can't do it again. Besides, Henry's still out there, and I'll bet he needs my help. Then take this to your daughter. She might need it. <sighs> Thank you, May. I'll make sure she knows it was from you. Thank you for everything you did. Take care. You'll find them. Julie. Julie's on the boat, it's man. Be okay. If you're still here, I'll find you. I promise. I I'm 
going to find a way to make it up to you. Oh! No! Oh! No! Well, that's a sour way to end the game. So obviously, you know, the game started out with something like, if, if you found this camera, then, you know, I'm probably dead. She was there with the camera and his pack and the bow and the machete and 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 chances are that's not a strange stranger woman like a, a random woman crying over him um so that's really sad but we did help linda and me and i guess um julie is is safe and she's alive at least uh but I would like, I mean, that's certainly not a very um, happy end to this game. Um, but I guess that's it, I suppose. This was, um, let's take the stats here. Completion, great. Victims, we only found barely half of them. Priori, I'm not going to do survival mode. Moral high ground, you didn't steal resources from innocent people, so that's nice. Uh, cannibalism, you have eaten human flesh. But I didn't. I didn't actually eat any of the flesh or the meat. Number of deaths, many. Total playtime, four and a half hours. That's um, that's a decent size for a Ubisoft game. And I say that with bile in my voice because, again, and I mention this once in a while, I waited bloody four or five years for Splinter Cell uh, Conviction. And then it was like four or five hours to complete, and that was it. And that was a, a bit of a letdown. I must admit. So, uh, yeah, this game is pretty short. I mean, they could have added maybe another chapter um, where you could find your wife. So it didn't end in a sad way. But maybe if you, you know, if anybody, any of you have, have played on survival mode, is it different? Maybe. I don't know. Um, so that's, that's too bad. That's a bit sad. But uh, I'm going to forget the fact that, you know, our nameless protagonist, obviously died and then uh, his wife found his remains and rejoiced to the fact that Linda and May are safe um, on a boat with lots of strangers going to who knows and Henry who knows you know but um, but yeah so certainly I just want to you, you know usually I, I do credits talk and I'm not sure if we're going to see some credits. Okay, we are going to see. Oh, sorry, we can do an actual credits talk here. Usually, you know, the game was fun because, you know, the climbing was pretty nice. The stamina system was kind of nice. But, you know, it wasn't that difficult to, to get around because I had tons and tons of stuff I I didn't really need to use. I think maybe, maybe I wanted the stamina bar to be a bit bigger. But I also wanted... Uh, less items, so I really needed to use that. I mean, I think I used three, two or three batons in the entire game, and I really didn't use. I, I like the fact that you would you would strain yourself to you know continue climbing, and then you would lose some of your stamina because you got hurt from doing that. I, I quite like that, and then you would have to regen that with food. But it was just so easy to do that. I mean, I had like twelve cans of um, like uh, fruit salad or fruit, fruit cocktails you know and some other you know other food and stuff but um but still it's really good and the combat was pretty interesting because i really had to manage my resources um having you know threatening people with a gun even if you had no bullets that was kind of cool and that allowed me to role play this whole thing a bit so that was kind of nice i like that um, the fact that, you know, you didn't really have aiming unless you were up against the, uh, the big armored guys. Because then you had to aim at, you know, like, the, the face or the leg or whatever. Um, that was the only time you really needed to aim. What could I want? <clears throat> um, the climbing was a little bit the same, you know. Find out the obvious path where the red, you know, it would be highlighted either with red um, pipes or 
white uh, support frames or whatever. So that was a little bit too easy. Maybe a few more hook points, that would have been fun. But then again, I don't know, why, why wouldn't he find... He should be able to find hook points anywhere, you know, in, in a rubble, in a destroyed city, right? Um, so maybe if you could climb up with that, that would be pretty cool to use your hook to, to climb up to a ledge above. Just to give it a bit of variation. Uh, it's not the best game I've played, but it's certainly not the worst. Um, so I say overall, it's it's been a pretty good experience. It didn't take very long, but like I said, that's standard for a Ubisoft game. Um, which is my gripe with them. Is that, you know, you spend a lot of money and time on production and, and advertisement, and then it's done in four or five hours. Um, but that's just how it is. I, I, I do, I, I did see some of you guys write in the comments that um, this project lost funding or they didn't believe in it and then they just shipped it out. And so that's probably why we feel like we are missing some of the story. Um, I don't think that we will see a number two, but that would be great, you know, uh, to have to see Keith, as I call him, be reunited with his wife. That would be nice. And his daughter, you know. I was I was half expecting them to be on the boat and and well it's been a year of course but half expecting them to, so we get to that um, other place San whatever and then finding Julie and Mary was that it I think Marie I, I'm not sure I forget the name because we didn't really the game didn't really focus very much on on the family to be honest um so so yeah. But it, it did entertain me, and I hope it entertained you um, f from watching this Let's Play. Because, you know, if you're, if you're listening to these cre this credits talk, then most likely you were entertained by this video, these videos. Um, yeah, so what else could we add? I mean, weapons? Ah, there was a shotgun somewhere in the game, but I think you needed to trade stuff to get it. And it's not like you, we didn't really see any shotgun shells flying around, did we? Um, I am bothered by the fact that I met that woman in the sewers who was trapped for some reason. And I had plenty of food, but she didn't want... She, she wanted uh, my fruit cans and not my fruit cocktails. Food cans and not fruit <laughs> cocktails. And then when I came back to her, she was dead. She had hung herself. I am really bothered by that because, you know, you know, I've killed dozens of people in this game, but um, I've not, I've caused one to commit suicide, which is a bit harsh. Certainly not a game for kids, that's for sure. Um, I thought Mei was a pretty cool character. Um, Henry, too, I guess all three um, were pretty cool. Uh, I like the fact that you could actually help survivors, but it was very dependent on, you know, searching the immediate area around you. Um, I like the ambush. That was pretty clever. Um, oh, man, we forgot um, to deliver. We had that pack of cigarettes, I think, and we could have delivered that. We could even have gone back to the mall. I think maybe you can't go back to the mall and, and give that uh, inhaler to that dude there. Um, still, we... we, we Missed so many people. So, so yeah. Can we do anything else to improve this game? What does it need? Well, it needs to be longer. Uh, maybe not twice as long, but maybe just another hour so you can round up the story and end on a happy note. But then again, not all games need to end on a happy note uh, to be good. The Walking Dead didn't, because, I mean, you're left with just... I'm not going to spoil that if you haven't played The Walking Dead, so you... Um, but in the spirit of the Walking Dead series, that surely didn't end in a in a happy note. I'm doing air air marks, air quotations there. Um, more in a somber note. But let's not talk about the Walking Dead. Um, I guess the story was kind of nice. You, 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 well, still no, because we we didn't even. What's up with the event? What has happened? Why is there dust in the in the earth? I mean, eventually that would settle down, wouldn't it? Uh, but no, apparently not. These are the questions that were left unanswered. And, okay, so what bothered, what, what really blows my mind is, look at all these people who are hired by Ubisoft. 
you know, to, to do this. Um, and they could only produce a game that was this short. I'm beginning to think that Ubisoft credits are just everybody who works for the um, for the company. And I bet we find some janitors in there as well. Uh, and not people that worked on that specific game. Because I can't believe that there were so many people working on this game. And it was only four and a half hours. This game has probably been in production for two years. You know, to make this, it takes time. I can appreciate that. And it has a lot of people, but I don't believe that... <sighs> if only I could make games, you know? I thought about sitting down and, and learning how to produce video games, like Flash, starting with Flash and then maybe code and learn some code or whatever. But, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to do, to do it better. But if I had a budget, right? And I, I had game designers and I had, you know, level designers and graphic artists and, and you know, music artists and whatever. I could probably produce something longer than, you know, and especially Ubisoft Bankroll. That would be great. Um, but still, that's how Ubisoft is as a company. It is a bit of a, um, it's a bit of a bad habit from them. But, um, but yeah. I think this game is a 6 or 7. No, it's, it's not a 7, it's a 6. And in my world, a 5, anything that is a 5 and above, that's worth playing, that's entertaining. This is certainly not a Portal, or a Half-Life, or a, a, a Bioshock, or a Bastion. Um, but, you know, it is, it was, it was entertaining, and it, and it, it entertained me for the four and a half, hour, four and a half hours it took me to complete the game. So, on that part, that's fine. Do you see this over here? I think the credits are just overlaid on the, um, the, uh, the title screen on the in the back, you know. But okay, Dark World works. Real fiction games. So maybe it's Dark Works who are to blame for this short. Maybe Ubisoft was just the publisher. But then again, there were quite a lot of people working for Ubisoft to publish this game. DW, that must be Dark Works. See, that's even a lot of people. Like, like all these, like Sebastian. How long did you spend on making this game? Manuel, you made... See, like, 30 people doing... And even more. Why, why do you have 3D and level art and then additional 3D and level art? Is that just because they helped out or because they weren't as good as everybody else? You know? See, these are a lot of people. I, I get that you need a lot of people for animation because you have, you know, the body and you have the other characters. You have faces, maybe you have weapons, I don't know. Um, see, these guys, these are the guys that should be fired, because the quality could be up a little bit, but uh, but yeah. I didn't mean for this credit talk to be this negative, but I do want to be honest. This game is a 6, or maybe a 5. It is a, it is a 5 in the sense that it entertained me. And it, I guess it's a 6 because it had some interesting gameplay um, mechanics as well. But nothing more than that. I'm sorry, guys. Ubisoft, and dark works if you're watching this you could have done better but thank you nevertheless for letting me play your game or you know i gave you money for the game so that's how you let me do it but but for making the game and allowing me to experience the story uh, with all its flaws and you know what makes it a game our love to our very very patient families and friends they were like dude you need really need to make this game better so, dude, why don't you listen to me? Work of fiction and resemblance in the world, we're living in purely coincidental for the, what, what is this, South Park? Okay. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I am alive. I guess that cannot be set for, uh, for our nameless protagonist. But, um, his wife is alive, nevertheless. And so are... Um, what, Linda and me. Until next time, guys. Thank you for watching, and see ya.